Alrighty, should be live any second now. Going to be playing Clock Tower. Uh, for those who aren't familiar, this is... I'm actually playing the... <laughs> it's complicated. The original Clock Tower came out on the uh, Super Famicom, Super Nintendo, I believe in 1995. It's a pixel art survival horror game. Uh, this is essentially a re-release of that for the PlayStation 1. Uh, but it was only released in Japan initially, and somebody uh, very generously translated that version into English. It's basically the same game as the original 1985 version, but with slightly improved uh, graphics and uh, audio. So I'm going to try it out. Um, basically, I think it's like basically a predecessor to... Uh, I, mean, it was, I think this is after Alone in the Dark, but... In a lot of ways, it's kind of the pioneering era of uh, survival horror games and that they couldn't quite figure out how it worked. Uh, focus on kind of... Honestly, it's it's kind of like a, a, a great granddaddy of games like um, Amnesia and uh, Penumbra and things like that, where you, you just kind of... You're running away from uh, a single sort of enemy without any particular way to fight it, fight it back. So it wasn't as action-focused as, say... Resident Evil, but um, yeah, welcome to the stream. Thanks for coming along. Just trying to do some more spooky games for Halloween uh, for October. I did uh, Inscription wasn't really super spooky, but it got it was kind of thematic, I guess. You know, it was dark and kind of kind of creepy at times. So I'm not playing this yet, but uh, this is uh, the PlayStation One version running with mouse mouse controls. This is actually a mouse, which is kind of fun. Very few mouse controlled games on the PlayStation One. Raised in the Granite Orphanage, Jennifer and her friends were unexpectedly wanted as adopted daughters. In September of that year, I guess we're going right into it. So these cutscenes are probably a little bit more unique to the uh, PS1 version. Laura, hurry up. We need to get there before it gets dark. Miss Mary. Hmm? What kind of house will we be living in soon? <laughs> it's so hard to do good voice acting when it spoon feeds you. <laughs> That's the fifth time this evening. You don't need to worry, though. It's a gorgeous mansion. Not long now, I think. See? Pretty good atmosphere so far. Hope you can hear it. Hey, good evening, Speedy Acorn. Uh, so far, kind of setting up the atmosphere. I think this is the preamble. I did do a quick start just to test the game out. This is kind of like the preamble. What a large house. True. It's so huge, and this is only the foyer. As I'm your teacher, I'll go greet the owner of the mansion. Everyone stay put. Okay, this is going to be a walking simulator. I can see that. Heard that uh, the main character was heavily inspired by like 19, 1980s era uh, Jennifer Connelly, which I can believe that. Let's see, what, what do they got to say? Hey, Anne. You're wondering what kind of person Mr. Burroughs is. Mind reader, right? Yeah. Okay. Guess that was it. Somehow. Huh? It's just so big, I can't stand it. Okay, well, keep it to yourself, lady. 
it's so empty here. I'll never get used to it. Oh yeah, I'm wondering if I should do that a higher uh, cycles or something. Lottie, don't be such a wimp. I'm curious about this one. I almost tried the uh, the PlayStation sequel, but I figured I should probably start with the OG. Yeah, she is super slow, but I think she she can run later. But right now she's just limited to walking mode. Yeah, super slow. Can she go upstairs? No. All right, lady. It's kind of revolutionary in its in its uh, mundanity. Like most games, do not have normal walking speed at this time. Question mark. It won't open. Okay. The real horror is having to walk back to the other side of the room. I think. All right, lady. I wonder if there's a, uh, a speed up button. I don't think I have it. Oh man, if I was playing the, if I was playing the SNES version, I have a, uh, a uh, speed, a speed button on that one. Don't worry, we'll get there eventually. She'll be a full grown woman with babies and grandchildren and everything by the time she gets there. You going in? No? Why not? Uh, okay, she's not going in, I guess. Yeah, uh, double tapping does... I missed Mary, sure is taking a while. Do you want me to go look for her? No, I'll go look for her. Yeah, no, uh, you're right, double tapping does uh, run, but I think it's disabled in this in this intro. Okay, this looks like it's probably the beginning. I'm hoping. Yeah, it's coming from the main foyer. Guys? Hey, stop joking around. Now I can run, okay. Just gonna go ahead and and say real quick. All right, running so much better. This is a floppiness game. <laughs> Not quite. Oh, look at that. She's got a she's got a uh, a heel turn animation. That's pretty cool. Oh, she's tired now. Oh crap! I didn't realize. Okay, so that color around her is probably her her energy meter. I think she's tuckered out. We're open. Okay. I'm hoping that she recovers. Yeah, this was an SNES game. This is actually the uh, the uh, PlayStation One, uh, I guess, light remaster. This is slightly better graphics and. I noticed mainly the uh, the sound effects are more crisp in this one. Okay, I just I don't want to get her tired, but she's like kind of tuckered out. Okay, guess I'm going back here. I don't know that that color on the portrait is. I'm guessing that's that's probably uh, her uh, her exhaustion meter. Oh, something spooky. It's completely dark. Really smooth animation, though. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, it got me a little. <laughs> Damn it. This game's so quiet. When it actually makes a noise, it scares me. I thought it something would have jumped out. It would have jumped out while I'm looking at it. What about that door? Lights are out. I wonder where the light switch is. Probably on the wall, I'm guessing. Okay, what's the TV? <laughs> I 
Uh, mildly upsetting. Um, yeah, the, the painting just bled. Anytime now in there, sister. It's quite dark. I wonder what time it is now. Um... Alright, let's check stuff out here. I wonder if it's not being used. Looks like a nice, really comfy sofa. Can I look at that, uh... Blood? Yeah, I noticed that from the... From the, uh... Wall. Alright, let's, let's shoot GFO, lady. Look like TV has any purpose. Okay, it's a little little bird or something. Let's look at the pictures. I'm sure they're not gonna be creepy or anything. Something or other. <laughs> How vain. Oh god. <laughs> Cough. Did I die? Oh, shit. Okay. I didn't realize it was that one of those kind of games, like a one one baddie uh, death. Okay. Well, speed run to the game over screen, I guess. <laughs> uh load. Uh, Jesus. Okay. Yeah, I didn't realize that, uh, that that would just be like an end. Okay. All right. Let's, um, skedaddle. Yeah, just looking at the mirror a couple times didn't think that would be such a bad idea. Is that the room I was in before? This is different. Okay, I can look at the window. Outside seems to be the main mansion's courtyard. Big pile of rubble. And I can look at in there now, but there's a little hole. There are deep cracks in the wall. It's likely to collapse at any moment. Okay. Thought I'd be able to crawl through there. Okay, guess not. So I still have the blue around me. I don't know if that's like a, a horror meter or if it's a, um, I don't know if that's a horror meter or something else, but I guess I'll just take it easy for now. Really needs to work on cardio. I wanted to talk, but we really want to go in that room. I guess it is some, probably something important. Lights are out. Wonder where the switch is. It's probably this little tiny, tiny little panel. Oh god, that'd be difficult to get. Yeah, that's tiny. There we go. Much less spooky. A painting of a creepy face. Blood? I'm not going to turn the TV on. I'm just going to walk over here and not interact with the paint with the uh, mirror. It's one one bed that's been dressed, one bed that's not been dressed. That's interesting.
Okay. Let's check out these beds. There's a blanket. Let's talk to this bird. A parrot? Oh god. No, parrot, no. So the parrot kills me? <laughs> she got killed by a bird. Okay. I'm starting to think that she's she's a little bit of a a little bit of softy. Yeah, I, I've noticed too the ending so far. Hopefully it actually brings me back to that room so I don't have to run all the way there again. Okay. Well, I'm not going to release the parrot. Alright, how do I... How about I just leave this room? I kind of like small scale, scale games that have a lot of endings. I've been meaning to find a time to play, um, I forget what it is, something, a couple, there's a couple kind of uh, replayable games like that that I have in my Steam library, but I haven't gotten to them yet. All right, what about you, Mr. Door? Uh-oh. Creepy Halloween music. Some dripping water. I'm a little I'm a little scared. Probably shouldn't have saved right now that there's impending danger, but. All right, lady. Look. That's bad. And, oh crap. Uh, yeah, let's go. GTFO. Alright, uh... Oh, crap. Crap, <laughs> I just walked right into him. Uh, yeah, that was, that was embarrassing. <laughs> Pretty much. A little slice of life there. I've been trying to, I tried to get to that door. I thought that maybe releasing the parrot or something might, might help, but, uh, yeah, I thought that maybe the parrot might, might do him in or something. Okay, let's uh, be a little more cautious here. Drip, drip, drip. Ooh, something going on in this room. Turn on the light. Light switch is broken. Is that... Is that steam or is that... Fog? What is that? The water seems to be running. Let me go through this door. Okay. 
Really impressive all the animations that a, they did just walking around the room. I don't want to. Uh oh. Is he behind the curtain? He's behind the curtain, isn't he? Uh oh. She dead. Ah, ooh, ah. Laura? Ooh, spooky. Yeah, get GTFO. Get out of there. No time to be polite. All right. I don't know how I'm getting into this one. I don't want to get her too red. I think if I get her too red, she might just pass out, right? Run from the spooky scissors. I do like how it's kind of like a uh, an interactive horror movie, though. Like where she goes, the next horror scene will happen. All right, she's still uh, running running about. It seems to be locked. Somewhere to hide. That's locked too. Well, I have my luck over here. Okay. Something that's not locked. Where is this then? Okay. Uh, somewhere to hide, maybe. Nope, I can't climb it. Uh oh. Yeah. Okay. I think when it flashes, I'm supposed to. Keep on pressing, uh, pressing the button or something. Should probably read the manual that I don't have. Okay. Well, I'm not really appreciating Mister Mister Scissors here. Uh oh. Noises. So he's coming after me. Maybe he'll uh, follow me in here. Perhaps. Or not. I was hoping I could use the parrot as a weapon. Yeah, I, I do think so. Like, if you keep on running, I think you weaken yourself against this attack. Yeah, he's literally running around with scissors. That's probably what inspired that uh, that warning. All right. Not nice of him. Apparently he's got immunity to fall damage though. And, ah oh crap, yep. 
Better go to you. Wait, is he over here now? How'd he get over there? Let's uh, gingerly take the stairs. We could try the uh, right side of the of the upstairs, maybe. That could be a possibility. Let's see how that goes. No rush, you know. You're just being chased by a uh, a short guy with giant pair of scissors. Oh yeah, he did cover this game, didn't he, John Tron? Yeah. I'm, I've been aware of this game for a while. I just never actually played it myself. Uh oh, there's nothing over here. So I guess now that she's in the red, it's not really much use of conserving energy, yeah. I'm gonna try jumping over that thing one more time. I don't know if it'll be a good idea. more time. Let's try it. Nope. Can't climb it. Okay. Crap. Well. Yeah. Well, that's, that's not so good. So, I wanted to try to climb over that, but apparently that's not really a thing. Unless I'm missing something. Hey, HB Lovecraft. Big fan of your books. All right. Um, new strategy then. Maybe I go past that door to a different different place. I don't want to stir up her stamina bar, but it's going to kind of happen anyway, isn't it? Yeah, I might need an item. I don't have any items. I just have uh, just the basic cursor. So maybe if I had some sort of like step ladder or a rope or whatever. I watch my my friend and die again. Pretty dramatic entrance, all things considered. Yeah, maybe I could push the box first. That's an option. She like auto runs when she's run, uh, running away from Mr. Scissors, so can't really stop her from burning up all our energy. Probably enable quick saves or something. Should have done that before I started. It's cool to even have uh, death perspective. Yeah, she does need an energy drink, that's for sure. Okay, there's got to be a way to get through here. Right, one more time. If not, I'm, I'm going to do a different strategy because this is getting a little old. Can I move the box? No. I'm not going to bother with that. Okay, maybe I can move this box. Um. No. None of this is interactable. Yep, 
Yeah, I'm not seeing any any interactive uh, objects here. Okay, so where's Mr. Scissors now? Just walking out. I can't use the store yet, right? It's locked. Really just take the slow route down the stairs, doesn't she? <laughs> Luckily, he seemed to get preoccupied with something else because he doesn't seem to be following me. I don't know if that door is still locked or not. As soon as he gets a drop on me, I'm dead. Okay, this is a different area. Maybe. Ooh, should I try? Uh-oh. Ah! She's tripping now. It is locked, let me guess. Locked by something. We locked. Oh crap! So that door's locked. That side's locked as well. Safety first. Yep. Yeah. Always walk down the stairs very, very safely, even if you're being pursued by a madman. Yeah. All you need is just hold his head. It's pretty great. I couldn't try the other door. I was curious about the other door. <laughs> A madman. That's true, he is kind of a madman. No, I don't want to go back out. Let's try and turn the light. So I, I get the idea that a lot of these things are kind of triggered by what I do. So if I hide, can I hide someplace? Uh-oh. Yeah. I thought I could, I thought I could potentially uh, hide in one of those uh, cabinets or whatever, but apparently not. I didn't want to save in case I got myself kind of blocked. I should probably save after I, I see that first encounter there, though. Just to kind of get over that. I'm wondering uh, which, which thing I should do first. If I should um, see the dead lady in the bathtub or... Yeah, I know. It's it is truly despair if you see if you had to click through the door twice. Yeah, he does he does seem to come right when I'm trapped, right? Ah, uh, uh. Laura? He pops out of the tub. Really, just being particularly cruel here, isn't he?
Yeah, go on. You can do it. Okay, so it seems to come to the right for whatever reason. So will he pop out of Yeah, there's gotta be hiding spots. Does he come out of the out of the window thing too? No, he doesn't. Not this time. Interesting. Alright, so Let's try this door this time. Maybe this door nope, that door's locked. And if I, I can't even uh, not, not run once he's in uh, pursuit mode. So uh, I'm just going to get out, getting down to uh red condition right away. Hey, McDonald. Yep. Just tune in. Spooktober. It's appropriate. Ooh. Okay. Um, What's all this about? I can use something here. Let me hide in the hay. Um, what is the purpose of this? Can I grab, can I grab something here? Oh, I can hide in the car. You're just gonna murder me, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, I hid from him. He got me anyway. Damn. I thought I'd I thought I'd found something there. I may have to look up a guide because this is just like nothing logically makes sense so far. I can't climb over the shelf, apparently. I can't hide in the haystacks, which would be the obvious thing. So yeah, what's what's the dealio? That's my question. I don't want to spoil the game. I'm just trying to figure out where where I need to go. So there's a blanket here. I kind of want to take the blanket. It's like a something to hide in. I don't know. I don't want to look at the mirror. Mirror bad. Something or other. <laughs> Look up a guide 134 years ago when it came out. Hey, there was still the internet around in 95. Come on. And the problem is, is that it's the same as our teachers, Miss Mary's. Got a bottle of perfume. Oh. Hey, I got my first item. I should probably save. But yeah, we truly live in the age of the cyberpunks. We also live in the age of uh, not having the original box and manual. The manual would be super helpful. They're usually going to teach you how to play the game with those. Okay. So I'm thinking I should just kind of vibe up a little bit and maybe find some more items before I decide to, to get this guy. I know that I know his two trigger points right now. If I go into the bathroom, shower, or if I go into the main room. Okay, I see the blood. Ooh, spooky blood. So right now it's just building atmosphere. Really nice comfy sofa. I've not checked all these items either. Um, oh, I wanted the light on. It 
seems like an obvious place to hide. There's a key. Oh, yeah. Okay, so one thing I didn't realize is that every every item has like a center spot where the 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 mouse the mouse kind of clicks to. So I've been noticing that like th this is a different thing than this. So I just have to be more thorough now. Did I get a key? Is that something I picked up? It's empty. Okay, where's my key then? Well, it doesn't show my key, but I, I'm assuming that's it's in my inventory. So I should be able to get through a locked door. I don't remember where the locked doors were now. Yeah, so it's it's not quite. It's a little bit better than pixel hunting. It kind of snaps to it. But yeah, it's a little, a little touchy. I'd like to run, but I don't want to like lose all my uh, stamina or fright meat or whatever. That's just where I went through. Damn it. <laughs> I forgot that the rooms loop around. Never mind. Or is there something under the bed? Okay, I'm going to go through there one more time. Patient with me. That'd be a great place to put something is just right under right under the bed with a a blanket. Okay, so that's the bed. Anything under the bed? No. Yeah, a little bit of pixel hunting. So that's something. That's something. I got the perfume. Bird. Light. Yeah, I don't definitely don't want to mess with the bird, okay. Just want to make sure I didn't miss anything. So I do have access to a key. I wonder if that would let me go through that. There was at least like one or two locked doors in the main, the foyer. So I'm wondering if that's something I should look into. Uh-oh. Yeah, this is probably when it gets spooky. Crash through the ceiling. Sure does make an entrance, doesn't he? And oh no. So I'm assuming there's gonna be something I can get through with the key. Oh, hey, David. Thanks for the uh, the uh, donation. I appreciate it. Offering for the high cyber historian. <laughs> appreciate that. Okay, was that a door I could get through? I know I couldn't get through. I couldn't get through this door. So I'll try that. Yeah, I got to find a place I can actually hide. I've been failing to hide. The key not work. Okay, so the key's not, not for this part. I found uh, a hay bush. I found... You know, I wonder if I can actually hide behind the shower curtain. That'd be kind of funny, wouldn't it? The irony is that he, uh, he uses the shower curtain to hide as well. We appreciate it, David. Thank you for the donation. Uh, in some year, we'll actually be up to the top of the stairs. So I, could, I couldn't get through this door before. I don't know if it was blocked or locked. I can't remember. There's two, two doors that we couldn't get through. Let's try this one. That may have been the one I couldn't get through. Now I'm kind of confused though. Maybe maybe this is one. I think I, I was able to get through this one or no? I don't remember now. It's a good soundtrack. It's like minimal, but it gets the point across. There's no key. I don't have any key. 
Okay. All right. Well, so much for that. For so much for that theory. And I couldn't really use any anything here, could I? Oh. Okay, so when she flashes, so am I supposed to click her portrait? Okay. Clock tower. Game. Uh, flash. Flashing. Panic mode. Just to tap the square button. Okay. So I have to, I have to, uh, maybe I have to press the right button. That's annoying. So panic mode mouse. I might, might as well load because it's going to take a while. What's the game where it's this, but with jiggle physics rule of rose. Oh yeah. It was like, it was like a success or whatever, but it was co-developed by like a, uh, a, uh, triple X studio or something. <laughs> I remember reading, uh, I saw some screenshots for that and I saw it on some uh, top 10 list of clock tower games and I'm like, uh, I'm sure mechanically it's cool, but it looks disturbing. So do I have to right click? I've got to control type A, type B, it doesn't tell me anything about it. I'm assuming I have to probably the right click to, to get out of panic stuff. Yeah. You must shake the mouse and right click for panic button to work. Okay, so right click, stop walking or running, panic button, shake the mouse and right click repeatedly. So if I right, press right click, that makes me stop. And apparently panic, I just have to like slam the right, right click. Okay. So, oh, what happened? Get up lady. Oh, was she resting? Was she resting on the, I wonder if she, when it, when she does that, if I get, regain uh, stamina, that'd be kind of cool. Anyway, actually I could test it out. Is she going to go green? All right, I've seen this. Uh, working on new projects on the main channel. Yeah, working on two videos. Uh, one video is in editing, and other videos in the scripting. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed, November will be the month where I can actually finish this dang thing. Oh, run! That'll be about an hour and a half video, and then I have another probably about 40 minute video uh, in scripting. That will probably be, realistically, probably be early next year. But things are on the way. Just a lot of a lot of IRL stuff came up this year. Okay, so let me climb upstairs. So now that I know how panic button works, I could probably climb over that, that shelf. I just wasn't, I wasn't, um, doing that properly, apparently. I wasn't able to click on the hay. That was the thing that kind of tripped me up is, uh, the hay thing was kind of not really working for me. Oh, but what if I, uh, can I rest? Do I kneel down and rest or is that just going to summon Mr. Mr. Man? 
Oh, it does heal me up. Okay, cool. I, I think I understand this game now. Yeah, I'm back up to blue. That's cool. So I should always just kind of rest up and save a little bit before I uh, go hog wild on these things. All right, I gotta get ready to panic. So it's just this room, I think. I should be able to get over the shelf now, I'm hoping. Do it. There, did it. Nice. Oof. All right. Now I can't get to me. Yes, I evaded. I evaded, Mister Mister uh, Scissorman. In Clock Tower Three, you're literally Sailor Moon. You can shoot bow and use magic. That's amazing. Okay, that deserves a save. I evaded Clock Clock Man once. I feel like a million bucks right now. There's some back there I can check out. Broken table where is stored inside. Seems like they're not as much been, not as much been used. Table where is stored here. The canister of insecticide. Okay, picked up insecticide. Okay, cool. Anything else? Uh, maybe I shouldn't do that. Um, all right. Well, I'm I'm happy with the results so far here. So now I need to um, figure out how to get through the other place. I'm hoping he's not just waiting right outside. That'd be embarrassing. Yeah, that sounds like a complete genre swap if it's got combat and everything like that. I did hear they did some sort of uh, Clock Tower successor later on, but... Ooh, telephone. Where's the telephone at? It's downstairs. It Maybe slow, but I do like the atmosphere. It's very uh, ambient. And and if I like this enough, I might try out the uh, clock tower for the the proper clock tower sequel. Right, where's the phone? Lauder down here, but I don't I don't remember where the the phone would be. Might be over by the the chairs, maybe. No, it's so. Uh... All right, chill out. Rest up. Is it through that door? I don't see a, um, I don't see a phone immediately. It's not through one of these, is it? Okay, what about this door? I don't see a telephone. That's the thing I'm, that's kind of tripping me up. Okay, I'm kind of hearing on the left side, so maybe that's where it's coming from. I don't hear it now. Might have missed it then. Okay, let's check out this uh, little this little refrigerator here. There's something shiny at the back. Ooh. 
Ooh. Bugs. Yeah, don't die. Don't die. We rest up a bit. I go back in there? She said there was something shiny. I don't know if it was the, the bugs themselves or something better. Like, it'd be kind of cool if I could get a weapon or something, like a knife. Hopefully the bugs still aren't there. Oh, insecticide. Right. I got that, the solution for that already. Okay, so I should remember to use that. One leg of ham is contained inside. Got some ham. Yeah, okay, good point. There's something shiny at the back. Oh no, bugs. How do I use it? How do I use it? Um. It's a calendar. It's a mark in today's date. Uh. I guess I should have used the the insecticide before I used the. Uh, I'm confused. Yeah, I might have. I might have had to use the insecticide before I. Uh, I open the door, something like that. <laughs> yeah, I gotta use the ham. All right, come on, sit down. You wanna rest up? Just wanna have a rest up a bit. I'll probably save it and try to use the uh, insecticide all directly on the uh, refrigerator or whatever it is, the cabinet. Couldn't tell, it left looked like the refri a refrigerator, the back looked like some sort of pantry maybe. Okay. Hey, thanks Anna for the donation, I appreciate it. Save to memory card. All right, let's try and start to decide on the uh, entry or whatever it is. Hey, welcome to the stream. Do it. Spray the insecticide. There we go. <laughs> A key fell down. Pocketed golden key. It's weird how keys don't uh, appear in my inventory. Okay. Well, I consider that a win as well. I'm getting progress here. Is there anything else I could? All right. There's a. There was like a door over here and a and a pantry. Or a calendar. Many bottles of drinks are lined up. It's a calendar. It's a mark on today's date. All right. Okay, so I have a couple keys. 
to which doors I do not know. <laughs> yeah, 90s adventure game logic. Okay, so yeah, he might chase me in here. I, I can't. Oh, can I grab the shovel? I can. Wait, there was something here, wasn't there? No. It's a. It's a box. What am I sipping on? Well, let me pause real quick. Um, not exactly anything too fancy. You probably can't tell from. It's Bell V. It's a uh, just tangerine. Uh, LaCroix knockoff. It's a, uh, if you go to, if you ever shop at Aldi, it's like, it's like LaCroix at home. Also have Blackberry, the same brand, but Blackberry. Not particularly, uh, incredible, but gets the job done. Okay. So I didn't check out that box. There's some sort of key. Oh, another key in the box. It's a car key. Oh shit. Pocketed car ignition key. Okay, um, I'm kind of tempted. This may be a bad idea. I can only have one save spot, but I uh, can't seem to, just out of curiosity, can I go use that, uh, that hay up there? I was hoping I could kind of crouch down there and there. Oh, maybe if I stop, if I crouch down, do I hide? Do not crouch down up there. She doesn't really need to crouch down, does she? I'm gonna hide behind that uh, nice little, I guess not. Don't think it works now. I'm just curious if uh, I can actually use it. Do I need to fix something in the car? I have the key now, so uh, yeah, I, I doubt I doubt I can just use it as is. The car's ignition key is missing. All oh, right, I have to I have to use the key on it. 90s game. With this car, I might be able to get away. But, this is not open. Everywhere else is, everyone else is. So I basically, I can get away, but I want to make sure I don't just abandon everybody. Well, it's an option at least. I don't really see what else I can do in this room. Okay. There's always a but. I'm, a, I'm guessing I basically have to confirm that everyone else is dead before I can move on. That's my guess. But now that I know how the panic button works, I can probably... Alright, the, the phone is still ringing. Could be this behind this door over here. That's my guess. There's stereo sound, which is actually pretty good. Like I can actually hear the sound going into my left ear as I'm running left and right ear as I'm running right, but I can't really tell where this phone ring is coming from. I'm gonna guess this door. Unless I just totally missed a phone someplace, which I don't think I did. Oh, could be, uh, this, this door is blocked, right? It's not locked, it's blocked. Yeah, this one's blocked by something. And the, the far door I think here was actually locked. Hopefully I have the key for it. I've gotten a couple of keys since then. Or not. Okay, well, so much for that. Okay. 
Okay, now the, the hunt for the telephone is <laughs> the tricky thing. Yeah, where the hell is that? I don't see a telephone. Yeah, where is that? If he's still over here or not. I could try to... Huh. Was this the door that had the uh, the shower in it? I could I could possibly try to just trigger that and run away from that. I should probably save first, maybe. Okay, that's. I wonder if the body's still there, actually. Body's not there. That's interesting. I seem to be able to use the shower. <laughs> oh god, that's gonna be a bad idea, isn't it? I don't wanna go I don't want to. Okay, should I use the shower? I seem to be able to use the shower. There's like another thing I can select over here. Is it, am I imagining that? Yeah, I think I'm imagining that. Okay. I, I can't, I can't seem to actually use the shower. Okay. I don't know why you'd want to take a shower in a murderous house, but. So interestingly, I see uh, different people, uh, the corpses of different people at different times, so by, depending on where I go first. Water's running. Light switch. It's broken, okay. This plays out quite differently, different uh, depending on how uh, where you go first, right? Yeah, fleeing the scissor man is probably sweaty work. All right. So there was that thing upstairs, that that gap upstairs where I could run run across, that I didn't know how to do without doing panic mode. It's all that running. Yes, all the, the brisk walking I'm doing. Really, uh, tiring me out. Oh boy, speaking of brisk walking, I'm going to have to very, very slowly walk upstairs. So now, where is the, where is the, uh, the phone? Yeah, I know. Like, like a speed run of this game would probably be instantaneous. Okay, that's not a phone. Maybe it's over here. No, there's no phone over here. Come on, lie down. Lie down. No. I don't want to be caught with this uh, guy on my tail with no with no energy. She can't lie down there. Okay. I really like to know where that phone call is coming from. Wait, I thought I could go through there before. I'm really confused now. Or was that downstairs? Uh, 
I'm so confused. I couldn't get through this door before. Now maybe I can. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. A human. Miss Mary. I'm glad to see you safe, Jennifer. Miss, everyone, everyone is... It's all right, Jennifer. Okay. Oh, there's gonna be a dead body in there. I'm not gonna drink that. Come on, drink this. Uh, it'll settle you down. No, I, don't do it. Okay. Well, that's rough. So Miss Mary's uh, kind of messed up. Who are you? Uh, erg. Hungry. Uh, sure, you can have my ham. Have some ham, bro. Check our pockets for giant scissors. <laughs> you are bur burrows. <laughs> Locked in here for quite a while, huh? Right now it's watching you. Watching you from the cradle under the star. Speaking riddles, man. Out with it. Okay. Well, I'm not sure if I like this predicament I'm in here. <laughs> Jennifer, you're safe. Lottie. Wait, I'll open it shortly. Yeah, some of the translations might be a little bit funky just because of the it's a fan translation, I think. <laughs> Good there. Run away before Miss Mary comes, huh? Hurry, Jennifer. I can hear a voice outside the room. Oh, God. Really, what a shame. Worry some children. Jennifer, wait right there. I'm going to punish you. Oh, crap. It's no use hiding. Come on out, Jennifer. Uh. uh maybe it is use hiding. You ever think about that? She's got a gun. Oh, she's gonna find me. Hiding in a place like this. Just like a cat burglar. Oh God! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay, um. Uh, I do have her perfume. Damn, I meant to go all the way back upstairs, though. I do, do have her perfume. I don't know how that would be useful, though. Okay, I can't use the bath bathroom just yet. I might want to run over those, uh, whatever that, that, uh, floor that I, when I ran over it, I, I, uh, caved it in. I don't remember what that was though. That's pretty funny. Yeah, she, she a baddie.
So it's back to this early room. I see anything else at Ooh. Alright, that's just the spooky. I think I'm getting the secret ending. Yeah, I got shot in a box. <laughs> Okay, this is the this is the original room I was thinking of. I thought this might this room might have the uh the phone call, but it's not. It's an ordinary table. Okay. Guys. Alright, you wanna rest. Rest. Oh, this place has a stairwell as well. I didn't realize that. Gotta rest the rest those games. All right, maybe I should while I'm while I'm still safe, I can save and then I can. Uh... I'm almost thinking I. Oh, you know what? No, I bet the perfume's probably to satiate the uh, the monster, but not for not for Miss Mary. That's probably some sequence where I have to like pretend to be her. Apparently, Miss Mary is the real monster in this game. Okay, so yeah, this is a different area. Let's see what this is all about. In a very slow fashion. Anything else over here? Nope, doesn't seem like it. A little bit faster, come on. Yeah, like a 1.5x speed uh, mod during the slow parts would make this game. It's impossible to get over there. Okay. I try anyway. Nope, okay. Back to square one then. This place has deadly premonition proportions. <laughs> Could be. Yeah, deadly premonition is a game I need to play more of. It's uh it's a game I'll praise endlessly, but it, it is definitely hard to kind of get to follow along the campaign sometimes. I'm trying to remember which door that was where I, I uh, was able to um, jump over it had I... Or maybe, maybe I'm not supposed to jump over it, maybe I'm just supposed to climb back up, but it had like a panic mode thing where I, I could potentially get across. Is there anything over here? There is a door, but I should probably rest up here. Come on, do your little curtsy thing. Alright. Nope, it's locked. Never mind then. She really needs to work out her legs a bit more. Okay, this is the crawl space that she didn't want to use. Yeah, so this is gonna break at any moment. Yeah, it's good good music in Deadly Premonition. It's a lot of good soundtracks that uh, you don't always think of. Um, no Man's Sky's got a pretty good, uh, relaxing soundtrack. Um, lot, okay. Just a spooky, do spooky window. No, no matter. Um, Miami Vice has a lot of bangers on it. I've been listening to that a lot recently. Um, some other game. Oh, yeah, uh, the Cadence of Hyrule and, uh, what's that other one? 
uh, Crypt of the Necrodancer. Those have some pretty good, pretty good uh, background tracks. What if David Lynch made Twin Peaks, but as a joke? That's called Twin Peaks uh, season three. <laughs> Zing. Uh, I, I've. It, it took me like four years to try to confront trying to watch season three, but I probably enjoy just watching a breakdown of it more. It seems like something that's cool to talk about, but I, it's not really Twin Peaks. I, I think that uh, 90s Lynch was kind of like his, 80s, 90s Lynch was kind of his peak. But at the same time, he was also kind of filtered a bit because this was, you know, Twin Peaks was like what, NBC or something like that. So he had he had a, he had some more restrictions than he than he did with the uh, the other show. Uh, in terms of what he could do, like he couldn't just dedicate like one episode towards some weird freaky thing. Like he kind of had to kind of had to follow a formula a bit more. I mean, the studio also kind of ruined the show a bit too. But I'm not saying the studio is great, but. 90s David Lynch contrasted with Mark Frost working within the system. I think that that's kind of like the what made season one and part like half of season two so great. I think that uh, giving him like a, a what a showtime showtime, you have different expectations. You're going to have new nudity. You're going to have other stuff like I don't know. Season three just had a, did not feel like season did not feel like Twin Peaks to me. Yeah, I mean, there's some interesting ideas in season three, but yeah, it's just, it's just Lynch being Lynch, Lynch being Lynch. Oh, wait, she's not here? What else did I do? I, this was the same room where I met her. How weird. This was the same room, right? Telephone line has been cut. But the, the telephone's ringing. Various bottles of drinks are displayed. But this was the same room that I that I met the lady, right? Oh, don't drink the water. Don't drink the... was used very recently, so... There's still liquid at the bottom of it. Uh, there's a silver key tucked underneath the glass. Pocketed the silver key. Oops. Ah, uh, that's not good. I might have messed up. I apologize. Uh, it may have kind of messed up the game doing that. Oh, no, we're good. We're in shape. I'm thinking I should probably save. This is a kind of an alternate thing. I must have walked away from her and then, and therefore she wasn't in the room. There's some woman's clothing inside. There's a strange piece of clothing. Black robe. Okay. <laughs> Did I just trigger a special ending? Yeah, it seems like some of this is actually timed. Which is interesting, because yeah, I, I basically had done nothing of, of uh, importance. Uh-oh. That's a body. Ah. Oh, weird. That's crazy. Laura died in a completely different way this time. If he if you went to the shower, she died in the in the shower. Huh. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Very luxurious sofa. I mean, it's not that luxurious. Well, why was the telephone line uh, ringing though? If the if the telephone was cut, that's the, these plot these plot contrivances. It's interesting though, because uh, you play it differently, and everybody would die in a different way. Okay, I'm blindly uh, not going to blindly take a. Let me turn light off. Come on, lady. 
I'm not going to blindly accept a, a spike to drink from this lady who seems completely unfazed by the fact that there's a murderer on the loose. Okay, silver key. Was there somewhere else that was locked? I'm trying to remember. Was this locked up here? Yeah, it was. I still don't, I still don't have the key for that. Okay, let's go back downstairs eventually. Yeah, so we've seen two different ways Laura can go. Now that I've saved, it probably won't be able to see any other options, but that's interesting for sure. It's weird that it's still ringing though. I, I have to find this phone that's, that is somehow still working. Laura's the Kenny of this game. <laughs> so I'm trying to remember, was this the place that had the, the cave in? No. Oh, this was blocked. But at the end of the hallway, it was, uh, there was some sort of door I could unlock, right? No. Seems to be locked. Okay. Well, that shoots that down, that theory. So what other doors were locked? Um, I don't remember what other what other doors I wasn't able to get through. Uh, you want to go on your knees, lady? Rest up. She doesn't like to, to rest sometimes, I noticed. All right, rest. Rest. It's not okay there we go so what other what other uh doors were locked then um there was the the one upstairs this one is blocked not locked could try it again just for posterity's sake yeah it's blocked okay what about any any other things that are locked? Hmm. Locked doors, locked doors, locked doors. Uh, so I got a robe and perfume. Is this supposed to combine those or something? I'm thinking the I'm thinking the uh There's some way I can basically disguise myself into uh, being immune to the, the little the clock man. Uh, I should probably check this place out. I'm left here. I'm trying to think of any other any other doorways or whatever that I was having a hard time getting through. But if I recall, over here had the or this door was I was able to get through here. That was the kitchen or something, right? Okay, now this is the door. Okay, good. Silver key. Okay. Library of some, of some type. A lot of dust has built up. Try to check out this part before I go to the table. It's a cheesy looking magic book on the shelf. magic book okay notice been put into the book of spells time is made to adhere the clock of the great clock tower has been stopped okay there are various types of chemicals on the desk. All right, what do I do here? 
It's a normal chair. Okay, that's good to know. Anything else? Stuff on the walls. There's a mural across one entire wall. Can't see the whole mural. One, sp one part of it is hidden behind that shelf. I push. I push the shelf. Ooh. There we go. Some sort of mural. Now maybe I can see it better. A room where a ritual is being held is depicted. I wonder if the room is depicted in this is in this place. Okay. See some people. Spell. Can I get that magic book now? Cheesy looking magic book. I mean I'd be I'd be open to all ideas about magic and supernatural at this point. Okay. I'm like gonna look up this damn <laughs> this damn uh <laughs> phone call thing because yeah. That's uh drive me a little little kooky. There's got to be a phone somewhere. I'm trying to remember what this room was. Is this, uh, what was this? Oh, this is the kitchen. Yeah, I think we're good here. Did get a key there, though. I wasn't sure. I don't think I've used all my keys yet. That's the thing that's kind of... I'm wondering where the other keys are supposed to go to. Come on. Come on. Well, I saw a phone upstairs, but I couldn't pick it up. Okay. Is everybody dead now? No, not everybody. Can't do anything with the shovel. Or the hay. And I'll be able to use this car eventually. I think that I'm still... I haven't found the redhead girl yet. Because the time where I uh, I got trapped and she took me out of the out of the prison that was that wasn't canon. Okay, I don't think I'll be able to use it here, but just in case. What should I do? Um, leave the psychopath house maybe no car could go right through that barn door <laughs> he's gonna say no fuel just watch you're probably right so now i'm confused did i miss an opportunity to progress the story now that i waited uh before meeting the, the lady i'm curious now Okay, so I gotta figure out this telephone. I'm gonna like look up the telephone because. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have her rest, and while she's resting, I'm gonna look up the telephone. <laughs> Clock tower game telephone ring. Still ringing. Okay. Telephone. Oh, right. GameFAQs is being bought out by fandom. It's going to be awful. Phone or phone room, religious study. Both rooms uh, switch places with each, each other from second floor to first floor. Phone. The room is accessed with the gold key, named because it is constantly ringing phone, which you can hear in the foyer. Sometimes Mary appears in here to poison you, 
sending you into the shed with her husband. Um, okay. I don't want to get more spoilers, but that is the phone room. Yeah, so things are different each time. So I had to go upstairs one more time, maybe. Maybe there's something I missed. Just odd that I can't pick up that phone because it's clearly ringing. I'm wondering if I messed up somehow. I mean, it clearly has the phone in the corner, so it's got to be the room, right? Come on, a little bit faster, a little bit faster. I don't have a key yet. Although I swear, swear to God, I, I've gotten through that, that door before. I don't know if I'm dreaming that or if I'm just confused, but I swear I've gotten through that door before. Yeah, Sister Man hasn't followed me after the first time I evaded him. That was kind of weird, right? There was there anything else? That, there was this one, one dead end over here. I wasn't able to figure out. I don't think I have anything else particularly. Uh, oh, I can I can do the box now. There's nothing. There's nothing there. Okay. Seems to be a bird's nest. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna shake hands with danger right now. Oh boy. Run away. Run away. I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna chance it with birds anymore. Is that some rope? Yeah, there's some rope. Okay, I don't I don't know how I missed that before. That's pretty obvious. Okay, what about cabinets? Tableware. Um what about the shelf over here. Broken tableware. Anything in the box? No. Clutter and junk is shoved everywhere. All right, what about this box? It's empty. Okay, well, I've got a rope at least. God, I'm trying to think of, there was something I could probably use the rope for. I'm just trying to think of what that was. Maybe the, uh, oh, the hole in the floor, maybe. Perhaps. Maybe the bird. I don't know what, to, what I'd want to use a rope for now that I think about it. Here, bird. No? I have the meat and I can't, I can't, uh, all right, I'll see you, McDonald. Thanks for uh, watching. I appreciate it. See you next week. Hopefully just confused now. Cause I was like planning all this stuff out and I've gotten these items for different scenarios. And then I, those scenarios no longer exist. <laughs> like I can't, I can't seem to get into that. Uh, all right, let me try the, let me save and try to get into that room one more time. Just rest up a bit. Just want to rest. She's not here this time. All right. I'll try the phone one more time. Yeah, it's a little obtuse, and the fact that it can change, like, uh, I went to this one room, and, uh, 
Telephone line has been cut, but it's ringing though. It's ringing. Old school telephones wouldn't ring if it's cut. Yeah. I just don't even know if I have the items. I, I luckily had the meat for that that uh guy in the cage. I don't know if I have the items for the other for the other stuff. Now I'm trying to I'm trying to think of where I would need a rope. All right, come on. You can you can do it. You can walk down the stairs. It's just yeah, the, even the walk the the glimpse of the walkthrough I looked at, which I realized I was getting spoilers, so I stopped. That was starting to talk about stuff. I'm like, whoa, these are a lot of options here. Like every scenario has different options, and sometimes they happen, and sometimes they don't. Like I think it might have been just an RNG chance that I I saw um, the lady rather than her not being there. Doing okay now that I don't have to run away from Mr. Uh, Mr. Scissor, Scissor Face, whatever his name is. I'm just now curious of uh, what I can do. I've got some items now, which is good, but I'm just a little lost because I was thinking that that kind of uh, imprisonment would have been inevitable, but it's not, apparently. Also, don't, I know this is not going to be incredibly uh, satisfying as a stream because it's very slow. <laughs> and I have no idea what I'm doing. This the bathroom again? Yeah. Uh, might as well open up the open up those curtains. Maybe I can take a bath after all that, that sweaty, sweaty running. Body? Nope, no body. Okay. I wonder if that's just a weird translation because that makes me think I should use the shower, but I can't. And the switch is broken, right? Alrighty. I mean, I, I had a I had an OG phone line back in the day. Uh, if there was no phone cord, there was no ring. That's uh, what's kind of cool about a lot of the phones back in the days. That, um, a lot of them were completely. Uh, it actually became a later thing, like when they got into wireless phones and stuff like that, where it required electricity. But some phones, you could get, you could get a dial tone and everything just from the power of the phone line. So even it, even if your power was out, you'd still get a uh, phone service, which is pretty cool, actually. Nice redundancy there. I'd feel so lost though if I didn't have a cell phone and I was like, quick dial something. I'm like, uh, what? <laughs> I was trying to do that one time where, um, I think I still have my cell phone, but I, I, um, uh, oh God, I clicked on the door. <laughs> I'm sorry. I clicked on the door and I didn't mean to. Maybe the TV does something. Let me turn that on again. Clutter and junk all jammed up. TV. Uh, but I had to, after a, a hurricane, I lost power and I uh, had to like, uh, I think I dialed 411 because I couldn't, oh, I, di I didn't have cell service. The cell service was down. So I, um, I had to call 411 to get the phone number to a grocery store. Um, 
Yeah, that was that was weird. I, th I think it's the only time I've ever used 411. There's a key. Oh, crap. Really? I must want to save after I got that key. I remember getting this key before. That's probably that freaking upstairs door that I've been constantly wanting to open. Okay, well, that's annoying. I could have sworn I, I saved after getting that key, but I must not have. Okay, well, it wasn't a complete waste of time then. Alright, uh, so West Wing. I'm assuming that's upstairs. I... Is it upstairs or somewhere? No, I used to have a landline. Um, no, I was referencing when the power was out back up, you know, when I, in my childhood, um, during like winter, we'd have power out. And, uh, what was my point? And basically, you were thankful to have a landline that didn't require power. It would, it would still work without, without a power. As long as you didn't have those fancy, if you had like wireless phones or, or special phones that had like, you know, special screens and things like that, those wouldn't get enough power from the phone line. But, uh, phone lines actually have a little bit of electricity enough to, to power your, to basic phones. But um, more recently, when I was, uh, after a hurricane, we lost power and I still had a, my, my cell phone charge, but the problem was is that I had, uh, I had phone access, but not internet access. So I couldn't use the internet to find the, uh, phone, the uh, phone number for the grocery store. So I had to call 411 and to get, a, <laughs> to get the, the uh, what do you call it? I'm still surprised 411 is managed is manned by like actual people, I think. Uh, I unless it was a, unless it was an automated thing, I'm not sure. Oh, that's true. I never thought about how natural gas is a, a nice backup if you had uh lost power. Yeah, we had propane for a while. We had wood stove for a while too. Horribly dangerous to have a wood stove like an actual wood fire inside your house, but you know, it gets the job done. So I'm almost wondering, is this the West Wing? This is the door I couldn't open before, right? I think this might have been the door I couldn't open. Or is this the one I could open? It didn't say I was opening... It didn't say I was using a... Uh, anything for that. Is this the one that falls underneath my feet? Yes, no. I don't know. This is different. Yeah, this is different. Ooh. Okay. It just it didn't say I was using the key that time. Huh. Maybe it just was randomly not locked this time. Okay, well, just out of paranoia, I'm just going to save one more time because I don't like repeating the game over and over again. Can't use any of these windows. This is a different part of the house. This must, this must be the West Wing. It just didn't, it didn't say I used the West Wing key. That's the funny thing. All right, looks like they missed a spot up here. Um, kind of bright colored walls remind me of the uh, Alone in the Dark, uh, like one and one, two and three. Remember those? This environment's looking kind of fun. Was that glass? Is that dust? That doesn't seem to have been used. This is very similar to the other room. Oh gosh, should I, look? I should turn on the light. Yeah, this is very similar to the other room, but, uh, oh, that switch is broken. Oh, uh, do I dare look at the mirror? I don't know if I want to look at the mirror. Shouldn't. Okay, I'm going to do it. Probably get killed. This is a nice mirror. I can flick my hair all day. 
Okay. Nothing else in here. Just a spooky, spooky room. Okay. I'm okay with that. So I'm now curious of where, where I need to go now. I'm kind of aimless right now because I don't have, uh, just not even met the, the Miss Mary or whatever it is, Mrs. Mary. Uh oh. Ooh. Never mind that. I'm just, uh, just readjusting the resolution. Hang on. Hang on. I feel like someone is watching me. I feel like somebody is messing up my resolution. That's what I feel like. Okay, let me uh, alt tab in and out again. Somehow the resolution got kind of messed up. Okay. Crap, I just did the same thing again. No! I don't know what happened here. I must have pressed something. Okay. All right, we're in. We're back in shape. Some hanging dolls. A French doll suspended from the ceiling. And there's some creepy stuff over here. Broken mirror. This little little doll in the corner. That's going to be a murderous doll, isn't it? There's a key on top. Okay. Pocketed ritual key. Oh crap. Yeah, screw that. That won't open. Um Okay, panic, 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 no. Got it. Okay, she's okay. Okay. I thought she was gonna die. record player seems to be broken didn't kill me though well, it seems to be quite old there was a child okay yeah now, I've played a lot of um, 90s point and clicks so this is this is not uncharted territory for me but I definitely get stuck in them a lot there were some, I, I probably, the game I had to probably reference a, um, a walkthrough more than any other game was probably, uh, Alindra for sure, but probably Curse of Monkey, not Curse of Monkey Island. Yeah, Curse of Monkey Island. That one was pretty rough. A couple of those puzzles, just complete moon logic. Okay, so a very old children's bed. Glad the little doll didn't kill me. I'm just wondering if it was supposed to, something that was supposed to happen. If I was supposed to grab it or what, what the deal was. Yeah, I love point and clicks, but they can be pretty frustrating. I'd like to see a, a point and click that has a lot more consistent logic. A woman is suspected. This person resembles someone. Okay, this is where Miss Mary grew up or something. I wonder who lit this. A middle-aged woman is depicted. Okay, there's a little bucket down here. Nothing. Dust is accumulated at the desk. Okay. What about the chair? Uh, I have no mouth that must scream. It's literary work. Oh, I didn't see that the part of it was it something about literary work. 
It's a literary work, okay. A dusty, dusty table. Anything else over here? Oh, there's something in the window, isn't it? From this window, the pool in the courtyard below can be seen. Yeah, I... I'd like to play I have New Mouth and I Must Scream. It seems like a really kind of fun atmospheric game. I just I have to get in a certain zone before I can get into point and click. Probably the last point and click. Yeah, it was barely a point and click, but uh, I played a bit through the uh, the new Tex Murphy game. Well, not so much new anymore, but that was kind of fun. A throwback to the FMB style game. So which door did I go through? Is this the um, nursery or? That might have been the nursery. Yeah, it is. I love the gorgeous uh, pixel art rooms though. It's just a lot of, lot of little kind of detail. They even added like a bit of uh, grain and and uh, I don't know if that's intentional or if that was just uh, dithering, but adds a, it lends a lot of atmosphere to the to the rooms. I'm guessing it's a bit more detailed as well on the PlayStation since they had a uh, more of everything. I think this this entire game is only like 50 megabytes. So it's it's not that much more intense than say like a high end uh, Super Nintendo cart, but okay, this looks like a spooky window. <laughs> Wouldn't call it fun. More like Depression Adventures of Weird. Yeah, for sure. So this is almost like a weird uh, kind of mirror of the other side of the house, but that one doesn't have a crack in the bottom of the, that room. Probably save just in case I don't have to do all this over again. Cool. Yeah, I've seen like a couple of scenes of this game and now that now I'm realizing I've seen those events happen in different ways in different areas. So I'm guessing there's a lot of different ways this whole thing can play out, which is pretty cool. Uh, board. It's just a wooden board. Okay. The first floor can be seen through the gap. Uh, maybe I can do a rope there? No. Oh, here we go. Oh, I didn't actually need to use the rope, but okay. That makes sense. Yeah, I could see him kind of writing the story in a, minute, in a night if he gets really inspired. Like, it's it's really annoying how it works. I can spend like four weeks on, on scripting, and sometimes I'll get more done in an hour if I'm really, really just hyper-focused. Okay. Ooh. What's behind the curtain? It looks like the wall was only recent uh, replastered here. I don't have anything to dig that out with, though. Yeah, I'm. I'm actually surprised that I'm not getting much snip, 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 man. <laughs> I'm guessing I have to get like a uh, a sledgehammer or something to break through that wall. Dishes, um, ooh, what's that? That looks like something. Can I hit the light? Oh, God. No. Oh, cat. Hey, cat. Little, uh, jump, jump scare cat. Of course the light doesn't work. Yeah, we're we're pretty. If this was a horror movie, we're definitely overdue for a uh, a monster jumping through the walls. 
This part of the wall is a different color from the rest of it. Okay. I'd like to break through it. Cat. Meow. So it'd be nice to bust through that, but I don't seem to have any tools. What's this? A lot of expensive paintings have been stacked here. Okay. All right. Well, we know that there's a couple false walls, but no clue as to how to get through them. Is that the end? That looks like the end, okay. Guess I have to go downstairs. That's not gonna be murder or anything. It's a modern 3D clock tower uh, version of clock tower, I think, on a cruise ship. Well, what's the clock tower then? If it's on a cruise ship. Seems like kind of a, a basic component of the game, right? That's one th thing about um, naming your games is you got to make sure you, you have a future. You tie it too too closely to something, and you stray from that later. It becomes kind of silly. All right. Okay, this looks like, looks like another kind of possibly can knock down things on the wall. Let's see. Anything, any books? Books are lined up here. That makes sense. This book is hard to read. I don't, I doubt any of the uh, light switches work. No, probably not. This is in disrepair for sure. There's some technical books mixed in here. Yeah, the uh, the sequel I seem seem to be interested in, but uh, the first one for the PlayStation looked cool, but it seemed to be kind of like a direct follow up where there's like the events of the of the clock tower monster and everything like that. Okay, a fairly deep crack. There seems to be something shiny at the back. Can I grab it? Okay, I hear some sort of howling noise. Old magazines, maternity magazine. Okay, so I'm not still pretty aimless here. I need some sort of tool. I think I'm missing something because there's there's like false walls, there's cracks, there's all sorts of stuff. So I'm thinking there's probably some sort of um, sledgehammer, my guess, chisel, something. All these uh, different rooms and setups kind of remind me of this old game. It, you ever play uh, Spy vs. Spy? That was kind of fun. It was like a, a 1v1 multiplayer uh, split screen game where you had to, you had to like, set up traps and mess with other players. It's pretty cool. A number of rats running around. Ooh. Are those uh, dead crows been hung here? Crow's head has been cut off completely. Okay, what about tools? Weapons? Knife? Could be a knife over there. <laughs> Zack and Cody versus the painter monster.
Knife. Okay, it's a dead crow, but you can also grab the knife. That'd be nice. Okay. Well, I would personally grab the butcher knife, but that's all fine and good. All right. Yeah, Spy vs. Spy. Was that a Mad TV? Uh, was that was that Mad TV? I think. Or uh, I think it might have been like a a Mad magazine, and might have gotten a limited cartoon run. But basically, that same idea. It was a pretty basic game. I mean, it uh, the one I played was like NES, so it was pretty old. But the the idea of like kind of cat and mouse uh, traps and stuff like that, one v one multiplayer could like trap different rooms and run around and the biggest flaw I think was the fact that it was split screen so then if you had a keen eye you could kind of see the other uh, player doing stuff but but um there was a way to kind of basically sneak in traps and and um set up ambushes for the other player without them knowing necessarily but pretty cool Okay, uh, this is downstairs, so this is another room that I haven't been in, right? Or am I? I'm confused now. Okay, this is going to be, it's got to be another uh, scissor man here somewhere, right? I'm actually shocked at how little he's uh, chasing me around. Okay, it looks like a typewriter, record player. Power let isn't turned on. Oh, I'm going right for the piano, aren't I? Oh god. Speak of the devil. You didn't like me playing the piano. Uh Oh, here's the ritual room. Shit. Is there anything I can do in here? Not really. Yep. Yeah. I must have triggered him with that piano. Okay, is there something else I can do here? He doesn't seem to be directly following me, so maybe I can kind of rest up a bit. Find a rock hill to beat him. <laughs> yeah, that's a good that's a good one, actually. So I guess I'm the paper, huh? Okay, this looks familiar. Um, can I hide in there? I'm assuming he probably... He'd probably look for me in here. Uh, I can't seem to look, use any of these. Oh, okay, I can't use that. Weird because they they hinted at using the shower the, on the other time. Yeah, I heard from people that they're not really getting uh, notifications when I go live, which kind of sucks. But you know, YouTube, I guess. 
maybe if I uh, schedule it more uh, more in advance, it might might help. Probably rest up a little bit, so I don't. I can at least have one chance to avoid the guy. Anything okay, to the door? Yeah, I, I think I could probably hide in the other shower, but this one didn't seem to have anything I could interact with. Okay, this could be bad. Is that the is that the block door? Ow. Still blocked. All right. Yeah, this game's cool. I'm just like confused because it's it's so uh, variable that I I kind of like lost kind of lost my uh, train of like I, I thought I knew where I was going and then all of a sudden the same exact scenario didn't happen. So now I'm on a different path, and I'm being chased by a guy with scissors, you know? Typical Wednesday, right? I'm glad I know about the, uh, the rest-up trick, though. Okay, so I'm back to this area now. So that means, I think, was the shower this way? I think the shower's this way, right? Okay, now he's, uh... He's probably kind of at me there from this side, right? Uh-oh. Ah, yeah. Just push him, push him down. Got him. <laughs> that worked. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I have like about 5,000 subscribers on my live channel here now, but it doesn't seem to notify a vast majority of them. So, I'm just trying to think. Which one was the, uh, the bathroom? It must have been the left door, right? Yeah, save states would be great. I, I don't think I have save states uh, set up right now, which is a little... That would probably be handy. That's yeah, got a great atmosphere for sure. I actually kind of like the uh, the almost 2.5D uh, presentation of the uh, the original PlayStation sequel. I'd like to kind of try that one out. Maybe I was thinking about cryostasis, uh, possibly the other clock tower if it's good uh, for more games to play during October. Got a couple more weeks of uh, October streams, right? Oh, great! Right. I can't, I can't hide here. I'm really not remembering this uh, this layout of this house, am I? So yeah, the bath the bathroom must be that that other uh Yeah, it must be that other one that passed him. Huh. What's this room then? Silver key. Can't hide under there. Yeah, I've never played Cryostasis. I've heard it's good, though. Uh, I, th I I don't think I can escape with my car until I've found everybody uh, that's missing. Oh, the episodic horror game Siren. Oh, OK. 
could be an, an idea for sure. Gotta rest up because I gotta push this little this little uh, shortman down. Show him who's boss. Yeah, I think she won't leave until she knows everybody's safe or dead. Which door was this then? Was this the bathroom? Yes. Maybe I can use it. I locked the door from the inside. Well, so much for that idea. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, that's not so good. Shortman Scissorman. All right. I, I hopefully I I loaded. I think I I think I saved shortly before I triggered that guy. Right. Or the piano room. I hope so. Now what's this room then? Could have swore that that bathroom would have been the trick. But Yeah, it's weird that he became such an iconic uh horror guy. He's just he's just a dude with scissors. <laughs> Wait, is that something I can look at? Yeah, it is. Many similar statues are lined up. Okay. There's something unique about this one. It was only replastered here, but I can't seem to break it free of it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> they prefer to be called little scissor people. Uh, really, I, I saved me upstairs. I went to a lot of places downstairs. Crap. Uh, I don't remember which ones I went to. You know, uh, Little Caesars. Now, do you know Little Scissors? <laughs> Wait, that's a broken statue, isn't it? I can't click on it, though. All right. I should probably save now that I'm downstairs. I don't know if it'll remember if I'm, I'm downstairs, though. I don't know if it's like the last, if that's the last door I walk through. It could be the last door I walk through. So if there is a piano, I'm not going to do the piano. Oh god, yeah. I that scene in Exorcist 3 is actually great. That that should be like unironically that should be taught in in uh, film school as far as how to build tension. That was really good. Shame that was called Exorcist. I mean, I, I heard that was basically going to be a completely unique IP, but they decided to make it an Exorcist thing, which probably hurt it more than it than it helped it. Yeah, I'm glad you can make it, super, uh, Lucky Fox. Probably gonna stream for another half an hour hour. I'd like to be able to finish the game. It isn't that long. I I saw the runtime on some playthroughs and it's like an hour if you're good at it, but that's the uh keyword is if you if you know what you're doing. Alright, run a little bit. Okay, now I'm still running. Yeah, I don't wanna be I don't wanna be uh 
at low, kind of low stamina because then he can just knock me over. If I'm at like green or whatever, I can at least uh, at least push him over, show him who's boss. All right, I should save here because I've I've zoned. Don't have to do all that over again. No, nope, not this room. So if I can find the piano room again, maybe there's something in that room that I missed. I kind of got distracted when the the big scissor man came after me. It's one of the slowest horror games to speed or not there. <laughs> Yeah, thanks for watching. Okay, no piano for me. Record player, it's unplugged. I'm sure I can probably interact with that box over there. Yeah, I could see some Argento. I mean, l less on the colored lighting, but definitely the kind of suspense. And he was all about like kind of skinny, skinny, shadowy folks uh, with the knives, right? Is he coming? He coming? Wanna hide behind the curtain? Yeah, you hide behind the curtain. A metal cane is stuck in the in the solid pot. That's what I want. Obtain cane. Yes. Okay, it's it's worth uh I better get out of here though. Now that I, have a, I think I can use that cane to probably break open that wall. That's my guess. If I go back upstairs, I should be able to knock out that false wall. Uh, just, just using logic, logic, not moon logic, but I'm hoping that that follows through. So I'd like to find out what's behind that wall. I'm not ready for the the ritual yet. It was up here, right? Yeah, it was up here. Okay, let me catch my breath. Usually the shortest escape routes in the game are the quickest ways to die a standard horror death. Yeah. So there's a little bit of RNG, so I'm, I'm assuming this is probably a pretty, uh... Hey, you gonna break it? Okay, can't, can't knock the cane? No? Okay, maybe I, maybe I misread what the cane was for. Mis misinterpreted what the cane was for. Many similar statues are lined up. Are they hinting that one of them is not similar? Hmm. Could have swore I had the I had the idea with the cane. But apparently I do not. Okay, so I guess I go back downstairs. Try using some scissor. Oh, <laughs> just anything hard and uh, anything blunt would probably get that get the job done. Really, the cane is for pimping and looking stylish. Yeah, I agree. 
I'd like to be able to use it on him. Maybe I can just like smack him over the head. I have to say that this is probably the only time, um, Maybe other than like gremlins or whatever, like maybe the only horror scenario where the uh, the horror is significantly smaller than than the, than the protagonist. The gremlins are small. Um, the creatures in Pitch Black weren't particularly huge, but they were definitely there are some more formidable ones. Uh, I guess Slither you could argue Slither. But as far as like an, a humanoid, usually, ah, uh, uh, leprechaun. Yeah, they're, okay, so there are definitely a few horror things that are smaller than you, but. Still, it's kind of funny. I just like how she just like pushes them over. <laughs> Critters. Critters was pretty fun. watching a lot of uh red letter media and they covered um i think they covered critters i think they also uh covered uh spookies which wasn't very good but but the cost and design and the, the props were kind of fun okay what if, what do i do if i uh wash my face see they, they hide keys in weird places like that the water's working oh i can do this Guess I didn't see that before. Okay, is there going to be a corpse? Chucky, yeah, another good one. Okay. So the shower works. Great little bit of de little bit of detail though, like. You notice how the, the clicking and clacking sounds totally different in the bathroom. Like for a uh, mid-90s game, that's a pretty nice bit of detail. Like they actually decided to have a, a completely different kind of echoey uh, footstep sound for when she's in a tiled room. I, I don't even believe that Troll exists because I only know about Troll 2. Troll 2 and all the various Troll 2s and Troll 3s that weren't actually Troll sequels. Oh, uh, yeah, the Langoliers. Yeah, that was the Stephen King miniseries. Yeah, for as as often as Stephen King gets praised, he's he's been adapted and written some crazy, crazy shit. Langoliers. That that's definitely a movie like that. You could have done that that miniseries for the same budget at the same time, and had it way way scarier. The fact that they went for they tried to visualize it with uh, with CG. That's where they kind of failed because you you're not gonna get away with you're not gonna be able to visualize Langoliers with ninety CG and and not make it laughable. That's the kind of, that's going to be the kind of movie or TV miniseries you're going to want to, uh, not, you're not going to want to show. You're going to want to, uh, you're going to want to basically, uh, suggest, but not show. It's kind of a running joke because, uh, Troll was, I guess, a minor success, so they figured any any somewhat thematically related movie could be called uh, a troll sequel. And so Troll 2 has nothing to do with Troll. It's actually about goblins and stuff, um, but it's called Troll 2. I think there's at least other one other Troll 2. And to a point where there was going to be, there was two different movies that were going to be called Troll 3 in the same year, and neither of them ended up becoming Troll 3. But it was just like, it became like the... A marketing gimmick so i don't know how successful i guess troll troll one was really successful I'm, I'm assuming because they used it to 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 try to market other other movies i 
Oh, the shower scene's great, yeah, but I, I ended up going with the other death reveal scene, but I found that same victim in a different way. I found the, the shower victim in a different place. So yeah, depending on who you who you let die first is it'll show uh, it'll have different death animations for different people. So it's pretty cool. Oh, that's that's what remothered is. Huh? Interesting. Heard about that. I wonder if she's gonna be here randomly. Probably not. Now that I've been here, I don't think she'll she'll come back. I still can't use the phone, right? I may have to get some help because this is like I mean I can find the ritual room, I just don't know. I don't wanna keep on running around back and forth here. Yeah. Okay. So the door at the top of the stairs is the west wing. Hmm. Yeah, I'm a little running out of ideas here. I, I guess I could try, I could look at the, the uh, now that I'm not running away from anybody, I could look at the uh, ritual room. I'm trying to think of where I could hide though. When the guy gets to me, I could probably, I could try hiding again on the other side of the bookshelf. It's going to be slow, but that's the only thing I can think of right now. She's going to have to uh, rest up though. Yeah, I just, the thing with the hints though is like there's so many different paths to this game that I feel, I figure like I'm going to actually spoil the entire game because I, I, like I've gotten two very different, uh, very different scenarios in the same room because it's kind of randomized. So I'd like to figure it out naturally because I don't want to spoil the rest of the game, but just not, not making it easy for me. That's for sure. What would I use a cane for? for? That's the that's the thing. I'm trying to figure out what the cane would be for. That seems important. Maybe it's for the ritual. Okay, that's stairs. That the same the same stairs, I think. So ritual room's gotta be over here somewhere. Oh, okay. Uh, I remember something bad happening here, I think. It's great atmosphere, though. Oh god, they're all dolls. This mannequin is wearing a dress. It's beautiful. Oh god. No, the head fell off. That one's alive. Not unsettling or anything. Uh, it's, can't do anything with this, right? I mean, a robe doesn't make any sense to put a robe on anything. <laughs> that mannequin's not going to be the head of a major corporation. That's a good one. That's a classic. So am I supposed to wear, wear a dress or do, do something with this particular thing? I 
Yeah, I heard that the um, yeah the PlayStation kind of uh, 3D or 2.5D uh, sequel is kind of crazy. There's like office buildings and stuff like that. I was just worried that it would kind of get bogged down in dialogue. But I'd be curious about trying it out now that I've played this. Yeah, if I, it, I'd like to finish this, but I, I don't think I can do that in the next 40 minutes. So, not without major spoilers. I'm, I'm, I think I'm close. I just... Hmm. I have to figure out what to do with this cane. I don't think I have all the components to do this ritual. I don't even remember what is all in the ritual, to be honest. Um... Maybe I can just kind of figure out what the cane's for. Cane. Doesn't even have cane listed in the walkthrough? That's weird. Okay. Clock tower. Game. Cane. I don't know if I have to summon Mr. Uh, Mr. Scissors. I know how to get him to, to come, but I don't know if I need to. And if I summon him, I don't know necessarily know how to get rid of him again. I've already been there. This is a different version of Clock Tower. Crap. Yeah, that's going to be difficult because there's so many games called Clock Tower. Okay, this is the ritual room. This room. Looks just like that mural earlier. Okay, because I'm not running away, I can actually look at things. That's good. A Celadon vase has been placed here. I can see a hole going downwards from the opening in the floor. Okay. So that's probably where I put the cane. So I could probably... could probably just figure this out on my own, because... Thankfully, the uh, walkthrough is so convoluted because there's so many games called uh, <laughs> Clock Tower. It's an iron disc. A cross has been cut into it. Okay. There's a dead body of a crow. It has been decapitated. It's an iron disc. Okay, that's fine. What about the book? It's an iron disc. I got it. I got it. Strange symbols and letters have been written. Time is made to adhere. I don't know what this means. Creepy painting has been hung here. Okay, well... What's this then? Oh, it's just a pentagram. Having a closer look, there's a square shape. Okay, cradle under the star. There's something underneath this. Okay. Try putting the staff in here. What's that sound? The hole seems to go really far down. If I use this ladder, I can probably get all the way down there. This ladder? Okay. Well, I guess I 
kind of stumbled into the solution. I just, I remember not being able to do anything in this room, but I they must have disabled the actual puzzle while I was being pursued. Okay. Let's see where we're going now. There she goes. Okay, now I think I need to use the robe and the perfume. No. Uh. All right, yeah, you can go back down there now. It thought I wanted to go back upstairs. So I have the robe and the perfume. I'm guessing that's how I get past this dog. That makes sense to me. Okay, I'm um, gonna save question mark, I hope. Okay. So, robe. I have perfume. Hey, doggo. What's that? It's a dog. It's like a dog's growl. Wrecked. How do I use the, how do I use the cloak? I don't know. I mean, it looks exactly like the, the robe that person was wearing, so. It's gotta be. Yeah, she does have Final Girl written all over her, but yeah, it's. The, the UI is definitely a little challenging. I have to put it. I have to put it on her face. No, I can't put it on her face. Can I? All right. What's going on? All right. How do I? I'm so confused. Okay, can I not? All right, I have to look this up because I know what I want to do, but I don't know what magical ritual I have to do to do it. Um, clock tower. Dog robe. Black robe. Purpose to get past dogs, so I know that. <laughs> I'm not, I'm on the right track, but how the hell do you use it? Okay, um, black robe, that's fine. It can be used along with the perfume to get past the dog guarding the cradle under the star. Okay, how does one do that? Jesus. Uh, Jesus Christ. Black robe known as black cloak. Used along with a perfume, but how do I use that? I'm so confused.
Yeah, I mean, I think I have the right idea. If I was wearing the robe and the perfume, I should be able to pass the dog. It's just a matter of how the hell the game wants me to actually use these things. I can only click, really. Click on that self now. No. I'm wondering if it's because I, I'm using a mouse. I can't really do. All right, what's going on? Yeah, I'm wondering, it's mouse controlled. It is a mouse controlled game, but. All right, perfume. Uh, once applied, the dog will mistake Jennifer Mary, Laura to pass. The perfume is found under the east wing. Okay, if the player fails to use both the perfume and the robe, but how do you use the perfume in the robe? Uh, how do you use items? Okay, so you have to have the her gasp. I have to have her gasp at the dog first. That's not working. Okay, robe. God, I'm like, grab me up the wall here. Click the robe at the bottom of the screen, then click on Jennifer. Jennifer will put the robe on. Jesus, I'm so close here. Click on Jennifer. He's not, he's not clicking. So I'm almost wondering. Oh, he sees the ham. I'm almost wondering if I had to switch to controller. It's not going to work well, is it? Okay, maybe. Okay, I've got. Oh, that's interesting. It's a run, but I don't want that. I don't want that. Anything. Clicking on. No. You click on Jen without the robe. Okay, click on Jen. Come on, you can do it. This is so frustrating. I know exactly what I need to do, and I didn't even have to look at a at a uh, walkthrough to do it. But the frustration is they're just not freaking working. Okay, Jennifer climbs down the ladder. Once you head over to the right bit, you see someone dressed in a black robe. Bye. Guard dog blocks your path. Jennifer should be able to have a black robe on hand. In addition to that, she has perfume that smells like Miss Mary's. If you use both, you can slip by. Black robe. Perfume. It's not, cl it's not snapping or anything. Is it just like a bug in the game? 
It's got to be a bug in the game because I can't, I can't do it. I've heard this is like the last scene of the freaking game or something. Jesus. <laughs> uh, can't use robe. Block tower. Can't use robe. I've got the robe. I've got the perfume. All right, let me try this other walkthrough here. Yeah, using items is the vinyl boss. Also nice to have a gold staff or a double idol at the hand. Okay, so there's two ways to do the ritual. That's kind of cool. Um, Black robe and perfume, if all are unchecked, you're ready to meet your ending. If you have the staff, you need to go to the religious study if you haven't already. Oh, God. All right, let me try walking to the dog again. I've probably already triggered him, so he's probably just going to eat me. I'm clicking, I'm clicking, it's not working. Yeah, I can't, I can't get this to work somehow. No, I think you're supposed to trigger him before you use the robe. Okay. Okay, now in that specific spot, I can click, I can lock on. That's, uh, uh. Jesus. Okay, we, we got it. We did it, read it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's so frustrating when you know exactly what you want to do, but you can't do it. <laughs> okay, well, we're good. Oh, we saved it. That, that would have been really frustrating to have gotten pretty much to the end without... I don't think I really got any help. I just I kind of made some things clear when I looked at the walkthrough. Ooh. Oh, no. My friend. Yeah, we had our diary a different way earlier. That's funny. Lottie. You're alive. Uh, she ain't been alive for much longer. Ah. Jennifer. The clock tower. The switch. Lottie? Don't go. I'm the only one now. Sorry, we haven't actually gotten to the, the titular clock tower yet. Uh, yeah, that sounds so good. Is the dog still there? <laughs> we in the chat all helped each other, yeah. No, I just I, I had to switch I had to switch back from right now I'm mouse control, which is super handy for this game, but I had to switch back to like 
uh, controller support, and I could not move, but I had to like very carefully. Oh, what's that? I saw something over there. What is that? That's an exit. Oh God. All right, I should probably save. I'm gonna get lost. Suppose I'm close though. Doesn't feel like I'm close to finishing the game, but maybe I can maybe I can knock this out and then maybe we can try into cl uh, Clock Tower 2 next week. Could be kind of fun. Oh, this, we're overdue for a, a little scissor man. Little sis. Oh. That looks like an elevator. It's not moving. Okay. We've got to figure out how to get the elevator we're going. Yeah, it, the the mouse control is, is pretty good, but it's like very, very... It's like... I mean, this is a PlayStation 1 game, so it wasn't exactly mouse central. It's very uh, low DPI. I'll, I'll put it that way. So just, you have to kind of, I had to, I had to uh, go into my mouse settings and create a new tier of mouse DPI for like uh, 400 DPI or whatever. Like a very small, a small amount of um, sensitivity. Okay, what's all this then? Why is the desk here of all places? There are cans here. Seems to be kerosene. All right, well, how about we take some of the, the kerosene? Hope I'm not missing something. Oh God, am I missing something and I can't finish this? Oh, okay, she's just climb, climb that. Just don't pick the second or third floor on the elevator. Is that an exit? No. This is like a totally different sort of thing. Something over here. Ooh, that looks like it could be bad. I already beat the final boss, don't worry, yeah. I actually skipped a whole uh, chase se a sequence with um, little, little scissors. Because uh, I didn't feel like having to run away from him again. So when am I actually going to see this clock tower? Oh, this 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 seems this seems like a bad idea. I'm already not liking this idea. Great tension though. It's a Harkonnen. Oh God. No, 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 no. Don't do it. Don't do it. I don't have my cursor. Okay, I definitely did the uh, the panic mode. Oh, kerosene. Kaboom. <laughs> Just run. Nicely placed a kerosene. Oh 
Okay, so I guess I should just get the hell out of here now. <laughs> Eat it, Dan. He did. Oh. Oh no, he's coming back. He's a little miniature Dan. Danny boy. Alright. I should probably just get out of here. Don't trip. You know you're gonna trip. Nope. Touch the... She's not super bright, is she? Get in there. Couldn't do it. Oof. All right. We're going to see the clock tower now. Uh, so you said not two or three. Um, I'm not sure if that's... Can't do one. So I got to do two or three. That calls for a save. Also, it calls for rejuvenation. You know you want to kneel down. Or not. Come on, kneel. Can I go back in? Oh, shit. I, I, uh... Uh, this is bad. This is going to be bad, isn't it? Maybe I shouldn't uh, save. Oh, shit. Miss Mary. Oh, God. And I don't know that she's an evil. She's like an evil winch witch here yet. You're safe and sound. Mary. Ah, Christ. Why? Uh, okay. Overwrite ending? Uh... <laughs> I want to research this before I say yes or no. That's a bad ending. I don't like that ending. Overwrite ending. Um, yeah, this is the PlayStation 1 version, which might have a few more features. Um, so I just, do I click yes or no? That's my question. So I want to do a different ending because that ending sucked. Oh, Lord. Um. Oh, God. I think, I think I do all, yes, overwrite ending. I just, I... I just don't know. I don't, I don't want to mess up my save game. Yeah, I, I don't have save states set up right now. I 
I think yes. Oh god. Crap, did I mess up something? Oh no, did I... Uh... Okay. Oof. But I can't change... I can't go back in the elevator. But what I should have saved before I... Mm, so I'm stuck just dying now? Uh... Yep. Okay. I should have saved in the elevator. Inside the elevator, I guess. Yeah, that sucks. There's nothing else I can do, huh? So I did, I did ending D. That sucks. Yeah, I'd have to do the whole thing over again. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's too bad. That's really, really dumb that they lock the uh, elevator. I'd be fine with the elevator. Yeah, no, we got it. You're, you're stupid. At least have a uh, a panic button thing. All right. Yeah. Why why bother uh, having a save like a, a override ending if you can't actually get back in the elevator? I couldn't do floor one, so I just picked floor two, so. Yeah, that's a, that, that's a pretty big downer. <laughs> Considering I had to redo the entire freaking game. I mean, it's cool that that you'd be able to kind of get a different, like if I were to replay it, I I would A, turn on some sort of turbo so I could walk through areas without, without spending half my life doing so. I would enable save states. I would uh, do the other death for uh, what's her name first. So that way I could kind of get a different selection of deaths. Cause I know that there's like one death in the fountain and there's lots of other cool variables and whatnot. So possibly a good ending where people live, who knows? But yeah, anyway, really cool game, but fuck that ending. <laughs> that ending was stupid. Alrighty. Uh, well, hopefully you enjoy. I don't know if I'll do... Uh, well, we'll see how I feel about this this franchise in a week. Um, I do have the other the other Clock Tower downloaded, so I could, I could boot it up. And uh, it's basically the same control, so... Yeah, I know. This reminds me of... Um, it, I'm getting flashbacks to Silent Hill Homecoming. I had the same issue with Silent Hill Homecoming because every single ending in that game sucks. One ending is like okay but oh my god that is some of the worst endings i've ever seen in a video game one ending is basically the x-files it was so stupid i tried so far hard and got so far yeah that's just like a the the icy blade into my into my heart at the end there wow i mean all her friends are dead her teacher is evil her life is ruined she's in trauma and therapy forever so no ending is going to be a good ending, but I'd at least like to see her get away. Especially since I had the key since like the very beginning for the car. Alrighty. Well, that was fun. Feel free to try it out yourself. This, uh, 
as far as I know, the SNES and, and the PlayStation 1 remake thing is kind of pretty similar. I think the PlayStation 1 has better audio, um, probably longer load times, and uh, I think it has some kind of like clearer graphics. I just like the kind of footsteps are a little bit more clicky, clickety clackety in the PS1 version. That's why I got this one. Um, also, I have not been able to get a mouse to work on, on SNES emulators. So anyway, um, thanks so much for watching. It's about midnight on my side. Probably you'll play something, maybe another clock tower. This is a, actually a lot of fun. I actually like this a lot. So I might do another clock tower and, uh, I'll see you guys next week. Don't, don't get stabbed by evil teachers. Um, and have a have a good October. Talk to you later, guys.